Hey, it's Eric at Tri-State Public Safety, and we are going to take a look at the new Phoenix Typhoon full function siren light controller today. And um, this is it. So let's go in a little bit closer and take a look at it. Everything's backlit with red LEDs, as you can see. Uh, you have a total of six outputs here. These will control all of your lighting. You have a rotary knob, and uh, let me turn this guy off here. So your rotary knob, you just kind of turn it around, obviously, and that will control all of your different siren tones. You also have a PA mic. You get a little PA, uh, or you get a little uh, mic clip that you can mount so you can hang your mic up. That's included also. And I believe about 15 feet or so of mic cable. The uh, control head is kind of a remote unit so this is going to go on your dash or maybe in your center console wherever you want it uh, they do give you brackets that are um, included with screws to be able to mount into the side of this uh, the uh, remote head unit here and this is already threaded so you'll get brackets to basically surface mount it or mount it underneath your dash whatever i believe there are already face plates from some of the major face plate manufacturers that are already available for this if you want to mount it into your center console of uh, maybe a police or fire vehicle. So I believe those are already available and on the market. But you'll have a Cat5 cable or RJ45 cable that will run around and plug in to the side of the uh, siren amplifier. And then at the siren amplifier is where you're going to make all your connections for uh, your lights and then your power and ground. And your speaker so it's actually really easy very uh user-friendly self-explanatory your power and ground are going to go right here your speaker wires go right here because this is a 100 watt unit so it'll only power one 100 watt speaker and then your six switches one two three four five six they go right here so whatever you're going to power with uh whatever lighting you're going to run your switches off of you're just going to run right here so that these switches can control whatever it is you're going to power. So when you press the power button, obviously it gets power to the unit. And uh, all of these siren buttons can actually be changed because there are, I believe, 21 different siren tones built into this unit. You have 12 different siren tones, specific siren tones, six different voice commands, and uh, then I believe two... Uh, different theme songs, if you will. There's also air horn, radio rebroadcast, and park kill built into this. So kind of a lot going on here. All in one package, siren light controller. Um, pretty nice unit, actually. Uh, you also have a manual button, an air horn button right here, separate from everything else. So makes it really nice to just reach up and you have everything right here, or reach down if it's mounted in your center console. So We'll go through some of the siren tones here, but uh, just so you know, everything is reprogrammable by you, and it's actually really easy to do. You just turn the knob to whatever it is uh, that you want to change, basically, and when you're on that, you get you uh, you get yourself like a little uh, ink pen, or in this case, it's a little screwdriver, and over here is a little black button. It's like a little momentary switch, if you will, and when you're on that tone on that uh, selector switch, uh, you just go through the different siren tones till you find the one you want. So we've already done that. And so if we go over to manual one, so that's manual one, manual two, So you can hear that even in uh, the hands-free operation, I'm going through three different tones on the hands-free deal. I'm also tapping air horn to intermittently uh, interrupt whatever tone that was. So tone one, two, and three, of course, we already set those up as well. And when you go to it, uh, you're not going to press the manual button. Uh, you'll just leave it on that tone, obviously, unless you wanted to physically change it. So...
All right, so pretty easy. And again, uh, everything's backlit with red LEDs, but when you press the button, it turns to a darker shade of red. And there's your power button that turns everything off. Of course, Phoenix gives you a sheet of legends, they always do, to label all of your buttons. So you get plenty to choose from. And uh, I forgot to turn it on here. Let me turn that on. There's your PA mic. It works just fine. So anyway, if you're looking for an all-in-one uh, package that is very easy to hook up, comes with a two-year warning, made in America. All your siren tones that you're familiar with or should be are built into this unit. And um, it's going to control your lighting. Just keep in mind, each button, as far as your lighting controls go, is rated at about 3.5 amps per Phoenix. So just keep that in mind. You can't wire everything in the world to just one button and expect that this is going to control it. So about three and a half amps. Everything nowadays that we're using uh, is essentially LED technology, so it's not going to pull that much voltage or amperage. So, but just keep that in mind. Uh, just food for thought. Uh, it does also have an integrated uh, uh, two output wigwag feature that is different than a headlight flasher. So a headlight flasher is different than a wigwag feature. So just keep that in mind. But it is integrated. No extra charge for that. It is built in. Uh, and uh, other than that, I believe that is about it for this guy. So we have mounted this, installed it, used it and uh, for a customer. And uh, the customers are happy with it. And it works rather well. So we have these in stock. And... Uh, We'd like to sell one to you, so if you'd like to order it, uh, you can do so online, or you can give us a call, and uh, we'll take your order over the phone. How's that? So our number is 513-422-5775, and thanks for watching.